but now we might have already guessed who this video is going to be about. Exactly, Wizzle. In this video, he's going to break down everything to us. He shares his guitar processing, his guitar recording, his vocal layering and vocal processing, just everything. But see for yourself. Usually when I start a sample, I just play around on my guitar and search for interesting licks or interesting runs or just some cool chords. But this time I started with the roads. Then I played some guitar. Ooh. I can show it without effects. Yeah, I used some some archetype. Yeah. Um, then I used Sooth. I basically, I used this on every channel because it makes everything sounds smoother and it just cuts out the harsh frequencies. Then sound shift because I think it adds to the texture. The next plugin is um, Desimord. It's like a bit crusher, but I added it to cut out the high frequencies. Ooh. Then pitched it up again. <laughs> um, added some flanger, just the logic. Um, stock flanger, the, like logic has some of the best stock plugins in my opinion. Um, Sooth again um, made it a bit more mono. Mono sounds so much crazy on most sounds. It sounds so much more like vintage sounds. Um, yeah, another channel EQ cut out the low frequencies. A compressor, just logic stock. How do I go go about this? Usually, when I want, when I know that I want to make a choir with different type of um, voices, different layers, and everything, I just open my piano roll and actually click in the melody I'm, I'm singing, you know? If this would be my melody, you know, it's just for the example. To make it easier to figure out what the second voice would sound like, I'm gonna just put some of these here to see, oh yeah, this could be the tone of the second voice. Maybe it, it goes one semitone lower. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. um, I just build my vocal choir in my piano roll before I actually sing it to see, oh yeah, this could work, this could not work, to just make it a bit easier for me because as you can see, it can get chaotic really quick, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most important thing I do when recording vocals is using the very speed feature in Logic. Everything is pitched down eight semitones and it's at roughly 61 BPM. So it sounds like this. It's so useful with vocals when you want to sing these high notes where my natural voice can get to, you know? So I think a great example would be playing this. Ooh. When you want to make a choir, it's all about making completely different layers. How do you achieve like this feeling of different people singing besides pitch shifting? Do you like sing like that? So, oh, lo, 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 lo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Really? Either this or um, I go with different pitches, like minus, sometimes Ooh. I would go minus eight semitones, sometimes minus six, and sometimes even higher, you know? Uh, what is your most used plugin for vocal processing, which was not in the breakdown so far? I think what was not in the breakdown, what I use for my vocals sometimes, wait, I'm gonna show you, is this um, pedal. And just like the guitar, I always use the noise suppressor by Waves. Wolf compressor as well. Then something I really like is the shape shifter. It's like, I don't know, it's like a compressor, but I can show you the difference. This is without. Ooh. Preset is named vocal with character, you know, like it boosts the high frequencies a bit, but doesn't make them too loud. Two channel EQs, I don't know why I did two and not just only one. Then King's microphone, always nice if you want to have another effect on it. Another channel EQ, Sooth. Uh, yeah, another channel EQ and then Valhalla. Yeah, when I had the vocals, I usually add the rest, I add the bass. Yeah, what I always like to do with my bass lines is make it a bit longer, you know, just not only make it for eight bars, but for 16. This is it without. Added like the Logic Stock bass amp. Channel EQ cut out a bit of the harsh frequencies. Then I added a flanger as well, like 
everything stays in mono again. Ah. Soothe again. <laughs> Compressor. Then one cool thing I added here was the drums. The cool thing in Logic is you can actually add something that sounds like a real drummer, you know? I'm gonna show it to you real quick. You can change it here. Ooh. And I did this too this time, but I processed it a bit. I added a bit of a like T-Rex just to make it sound distorted. Decimord again to cut out the high frequencies, channel EQ. I pitched it down so it sounds more sampled. Um, then Termal. Termal is always great for drums, for like these percussion loops because it adds so much bounce. I think it adds really good character to the sample as well as these textures, you know, it's like this, this rain vinyl texture and here, I think again. Yeah, you know, they're really quiet in the background, but they really make a difference. I always use for my road sound is this one, Audio Lounge. I uh, just added some J37, the tape delay to make it a bit more, to make it a bit sound more like, like in a room. What I always do in my samples is I always finish the first part and then for the next few parts, I always sample some sounds from the first part. Then I just chopped it here. Ooh. You know, it's because that way it's not really a new sound because the listener already listened to the sound, but it's still something new. You know, it doesn't get boring over time because it's yeah. always like flipped in a new way. Um, then I introduced the guitar I already showed. Second part of the bass line as well. And yeah, that's for the second part. For the third part, um, I played some guitar and ran it through my guitar pedal, through my microcosm. Ooh. I always like to add some pancake to give it a bit more movement. Um, then I added another layer of microcosm guitar. I think it was just a leftover from the um, microcosm recording. And um, then for the next part, I just pitched down the choir. I filtered out like the low and high frequencies, put a logic stock flanger on it. And then in this part, I introduced a guitar slide, an actual guitar slide. Ooh. Yeah, it really sounds eerie. I think I played, um, I have this guitar slide, this one. Ah. I got the um, roads cut up from the beginning. I think it's even reversed. And then the choir again from the beginning and a different bass, like a synth bass. Ooh. Yeah, then for the master, effects i do mid side then i add j37 and then just some some sooth again and channel eq as well oh what are the elements uh, in your samples that you lay a sort of bigger focus on than others and why i always try to achieve a pretty vintage vocal sound my focus is always on having great vocals and a great guitar tone because that's also one of my main main sounds things and of course always have I'm a great texture and feeling in the samples. Okay, for the next sample, talking to myself. Basically, I started with keys. I added these vocals, you know, like in the last sample, I did the vocal choir. And in this one, it was more like a couple single vocals. Um, automated the decay so that it fades out and gets more um, soaked into the reverb. Choose to do this uh, rain texture in the beginning. For the vocals, I just did the very speed thing again, put little Alter Boy on it as usual. Added Coral from Native Instruments, it's a really great uh, plugin for chorus.
Oh, and this one is always a great plugin for um, vocals. It, you know, the the harmonizer from Eventide, and then the chorus drift preset. It always sounds nice. It always sounds like you have two voices singing at once. And then J37 to just give it like the saturation knob. Um, Valhalla to have the vocals sound a bit muffled, you know, like a bit underwater. Um, you can achieve this effect by the King's microphone. It's always perfect for for vocal. It doesn't matter if you want to do a choir or single vocals, it's always great for that. Added the bass. Then I had the synthesizer. Ah, I hear the pancake already. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was from Tapes, the contact library from Phonoloop. I think I reversed it and added some, like as you can see, some sound shifter, pitch it up. It's always cool if you export something pretty high and then and pitch it down so it really gets this this washed out vintage effect and then a logic stock phaser again um, made it almost completely mono pancake again shaper box always cool and then i have the sign fx and then for the interesting part there's the synth atmosphere Ooh. Um, I think the main thing in this one is thermal. It's the preset lead box robotize, light shaper as well. Then I added cassette, pancake suits. Like you, you already see, I use like the same 30 plugins over and over again. Then I added a water FX. Then for the next part, I had the sign pad and then a sign pad. Then I got the synth from here. I think it was the same preset, but just in the in the tapes um, bank, tweaked a bit Ooh, differently. I, that, I yeah. really like that that like mindset of using something and then tweaking it and using it again, so it has the same feeling yeah. but still something new. Basically, they just support the piano chord. <laughs> Sometimes I just cut out pieces from the actual percussion loop and put them into another channel to tweak them differently to make it a bit different at the end of every of every part, you know, that you know, oh, like a, a new part is introduced. For the next part, I reversed the rim shot. Um, I had a bass reversed. Hmm. And then I also reversed the belts. Then the piano reversed again. I just repeated some of the parts, then introduced some new vocals here. It's always cool when you have a vocal sample to just at the end let the vocal play with the bass together so it... For the master processing, I did the Ampex, then Sooth again and the channel EQ. So basically like the last one, but with a different tape emulation. What can I say? Wizzle dropped a lot of gems, that's why the video is so long compared to the other ones on my channel. But if you're now interested in why Travis Scott, Frank Dukes and Matt Rubin use the same sample, check out this video.